In this video, we will discuss useful utilization of gyroscopic effect in helping the functional aspect of the system. To illustrate the same, we will solve a problem of determining crushing force in the roller grinding mill. In this system, gyroscopic effect significantly boosts the crushing force. The problem is a crusher in which the mass of each roller is 100 kg. This crusher is having two rollers, one attached to this arm, this is roller, roller 1. Similarly, there is another roller which is not shown here, which is attached to opposite side of the arm. The rollers are cylindrical with 90 centimeter diameter. So, diameter of this roller is 90 centimeter, this total diameter. This total diameter is 90 centimeter. So, radius will be 45 centimeter. The polar mass moment of inertia of each roller is 15 kg meter square. So, moment of inertia of this roller with respect to this axis, this is polar axis, about this axis, moment of inertia is given 15 kg meter square. So, moment of inertia of this roller about this axis is 15 kg meter square. The driving shaft runs at 90 rpm. Determine the total crushing force. This is the driving arm. This is rotating with 90 rpm in anti-clockwise direction when viewed from the top. So, when this driving shaft is rotating in anti-clockwise direction, this arm will also rotate in anti-clockwise direction in this direction. So, when this arm rotates in this direction, this roller will also rotate in anti-clockwise direction when viewed from the left side. If you view from this side, this roller will rotate in anti-clockwise direction. Or else you can say that this roller will rotate in clockwise direction when viewed from the right side. If there is no gyroscopic effect, then the crushing force will be equal to weight of this roller that is equal to 100 uh, kg. That means 1000, almost 1000 Newton will be the crushing force. But in this particular case, this roller is spinning about this axis. At the same time, this axis is also rotating about this shaft with 90 RPM. Therefore, gyroscopic effect will be there. And we will discuss that gyroscopic effect next. This roller is rotating in clockwise direction when viewed from the right side. So, this is the direction. So, this is uh, right in, uh, rotating in clockwise direction. From right hand screw rule, we know that if a right hand screw is rotated in clockwise direction, it moves forward direction. So, this should be the vector representing angular velocity of this roller. So, or angular velocity or angular momentum because uh, angular momentum is I into omega and I is a scalar quantity. So, I omega will have same direction as omega. So, this is the direction of angular momentum for this particular roller. So, this I have shown here in this horizontal plane. So, show this. So, this is initial angular momentum. Now, this roller is moving or going in that direction inside the screen. So, in that case, the di direction will change. This will be the angular momentum after a small time t. So, change in angular momentum will be end point of first, first vector to end point of second vector. So, this is your, this line will represent your active gyroscopic couple. So, this is the direction of active gyroscopic couple. So, reactive gyroscopic couple will be exactly opposite to this. So, this is your reactive gyroscopic couple in this direction. Now, this reactive gyroscopic couple vector is in horizontal plane. Therefore, this reactive gyroscopic couple must be applied in vertical plane perpendicular to this vector. So, you can draw one plane here which is perpendicular to this vector. This is vertical plane which is perpendicular to this vector. I have shown this vector also here. You can show this vector here. And if you if you want to get this particular vector, then you have to apply right hand screw rule. So, according to right hand screw rule, this when you ro rotate right hand screw in clockwise direction, this vector will move in this direction. Therefore, one clockwise couple must be applied here. So, this couple must be clockwise so that you will get this vector. Therefore, in this system, one gyroscopic, reactive gyroscopic couple is acting in clockwise direction. I have shown here, you can show this active reactive gyroscopic couple anywhere in this plane. Now, magnitude of this reactive gyroscopic couple can be obtained, which is equal to I omega into omega p. I value of I is given 15 kg meter square. You need omega and omega p. Now, this is omega p. This axis is rotating with 90 rpm about this shaft. Therefore, from that you can calculate omega p which is equal to 2 pi n divided by 60 where n is 90 rpm. 
from this you are getting 9.42 radian per second this is your angular velocity of precision to get angular velocity of this ruler you need to determine velocity of a and velocity of b so velocity of a can be calculated using relation r omega where r is uh, radius of arm length of arm so this is the length of arm from this into omega p uh, uh, this arm length is 60 centimeter so 60 into 9.42 will be the velocity of point A and velocity of point B can be calculated using angular velocity of this ruler. If this angular velocity of this ruler is omega, then velocity of B will be R ruler R into omega. So R is radius of ruler into omega. Now radius of ruler is 45 centimeters. So this is equal to 45 omega. In case of pure ruling without slipping, now this ruler is ruling uh, because of friction between this bed and this ruler this ruler is ruling if this ruling is pure without slipping in that case velocity of a and b must be same so velocity of a equal to velocity of b so velocity of a we have determined here 16 to 9.42 is equal to 45 omega here you can see the 60 and 45 both I have taken in centimeters so there there will be no error in this calculation so from this you can calculate value of omega is equal to 12.56 radian per second once you have calculated omega omega p already calculated now i is given i value of i is 15 kg meter square so this cg can be calculated i omega omega p 15 into 9.42 into 12.56 from this you can cal uh, you are you are getting value of cg or reactive gyroscopic couple as 1774.73 newton meters now we will draw free body diagram of this ruler I have removed this uh, bed from here so there will be one reaction here weight of this ruler is acting in vertical downward direction so I have represented this weight as W and uh, there is one reaction between the bed and the ruler and this reaction is P this is your crushing force which we have to determine now other forces uh, which are passing through this point are neglected here because we are going to take moment about this particular point moment of all the forces which are passing through this point will be zero so those forces I have not shown here for example centrifugal force may act here so that centrifugal force is passing through this point so there will be um, there will be no moment of that force now apply equation of equilibrium and that is sigma m is equal to zero where I am taking moment with respect to this particular point if you apply this equation you are getting there are uh, there is one couple cg and two forces you have to take moment of all these three this is uh, already it is a couple so first you take cg cg is clockwise since this is clockwise so i have taken this as positive now moment of this weight w with respect to this point this weight is producing a clockwise couple therefore i have taken this also as positive so force into perpendicular distance weight is vertical downward direction and perpendicular distance 60 centimeter I have converted that into meter so 0 0.6 meter now this P is producing anti-clockwise moment about this point so you can see this P is producing anti-clockwise moment so this P I have taken minus and P into perpendicular distance for P is also 60 centimeter which is equal to 0 0.6 meter and is equal to 0 so W here you can calculate weight is M into G so M is 100 kg into 9.81 so 981 Newton and uh, CG already we have calculated now put all these values here 1774.73 uh, 981 into 0 0.6 is equal to so I have taken this this side so P into 0 0.6 when you simplify you will get value of P is equal to 3938.89 Newton now here you can see this is the crushing force uh, if there is no gyroscopic effect then crushing force will be equal to equal will be equal to weight which is equal to 9, 981 Newton but now because of this gyroscopic effect crushing force has increased from 981 Newton to 3938.89 Newton which is almost four times the actual uh, crushing force in this way gyroscopic effect can be utilized usefully Thank you for watching this video.